Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about functions. Function are the sub programs that perform specific tasks. They are created to perform different tasks and they are called whenever they are required. So for a, so functions are of three types. First one is library functions. These functions are already built in the Python library. Like we have used len, input, and type. These we have already used. Second one is function defined in different modules, like math functions. So to do any math function, we need to import math library. Math module we need to import. After importing math module, we can use those functions. Like if I want to use SQRT, which gives you the square root, as you can see, other functions are there in the notes, which I'll be providing you along with this video. And the third one is the one on which we'll be working more, that is user-defined functions. User-defined functions are the functions which a programmer or a developer makes. So to create a function, first we need to write def. It is a keyword where, through which we start a function. And then we write function name. Then we write the parameters and then colon. Under that, we write the function definition with proper indentation. So how we define a function? First we'll create one, def display name. So display is the name of the function. Name is the parameter which we are passing. Print my name is whatever name we pass. So how in Python we define a function and a main? All functions we declare above main and through indentation, we create main. Like if you see here that uh, in def part, we have written print my name is name uh, with a variable name name under proper indentation. And uh, as soon as I start it from the very beginning, it remains as a main part. So in main, what we are doing, we are taking variable name one equals to input, enter your name in which user will be entering its, uh, his or her name. And then we are calling function called display. Under display, what we are doing, we are writing the variable name in which the user, with whatever name user have entered is there. So this name one value gets passed to this name variable over here. And then it prints the name. Let's run this program. Like if I enter my name, see it is printing so this is how we write functions so let's take one more example i've already created few for you now in this program what we are doing we'll be writing a program in which it should not be writing a program it should be writing a function to find sum of two numbers entered by the user. So in this case, we'll be writing one function which will be adding two numbers and displaying the result. And user will be entering those two numbers in the main part here. Okay, so in this case, let's start with def. Def is the uh, keyword which you write. Sum is the name of the function. And A and B are the variables in which you'll be passing the values. These are called formal parameters. We'll be uh, dealing with the formal and actual parameters in some time. X equals to int input first number is the whatever number you'll enter. Like just to revise why we are writing int over here, what it is doing, it is 
converting the number entered as string to integer type and storing its value in x likewise in y so here we are calling a function sum with passing two variables x and y the values of x and y will get copied to variable a and b whenever you are calling a function at that point of time the variables you are passing are called as actual parameters and the variables which you have taken in the function declaration they, they are called formal parameters so values of x and y gets copied to value uh, copies to a and b we are adding them and storing them in c and there we are printing the value let's run the program let uh, first, first value is 3 second is 4 sum is 7 so this is how we'll be working on functions let's take one more example now comes one more point returning a value returning a value means like if you see a previous example in that what we are doing we are finding the value and printing in the function itself now if i want that value to uh, send back i want to send back that value to the main for that purpose i need to use return statement so we'll be writing a program in which we'll be finding sum of two numbers entered by the user and return the sum so in this case it is similar to the previous one but uh, there is one slight difference that will not be passed will not be displaying the result in the function but we will be returning the value which is calculated in some function to the main program and we'll be printing that value in main so first we have defined a function uh, sum with passing to par formal parameters a and b c equals to a plus b there you can see we have uh, have written return c so what return statement does it returns this return statement sends the value of c back to the main program so execution of the program starts from main x equals to int input first number is so we user will be entering two values x and y here you can see that i have written z equals to sum x comma y and in the previous example i just wrote sum x comma y so whenever a function is returning a value at that point of time whenever i am calling a function i need to store the returned value and so what i have done the value of c will be returned back to the main program and there i have written z as the variable which will be storing the value of c so in this case if we run this program if i write first number is three second number is four answer is sum is seven so what happened three goes to x 4 goes to y x i have passed two variables x and y they are called what they are called actual parameters so i'm passing the values of actual parameters to the formal parameters the values get copied in a and b a plus b answer gets stored in c and at that point of time what i'm doing i'm i've written return c so c is getting returned back c means the value of c is coming back and replacing this wherever i have called that particular function and after that it is getting stored in z <clears throat> excuse me so th through this is how we use written statement now let's take one more example write a function to find factorial of a given number so in this case what we are doing we'll be finding factorial of a given number number will be inputted in the main 
will be passing that number to the function and there we'll be finding the factorial and returning back the answer to the main program where we'll print it. So let's start. We have written a function def fact name function name can be anything other than a keyword or an identifier. It should not be a keyword or an identifier. Other than that, you can use any word. So I've taken fact in bracket. I have written n, which will be taking the value whenever the function is called f equals to one. It is similar to one the one which we already did in our class 11th for i in range one comma n plus one. Why we have written n plus one because range function it starts it, it takes one value less than the uh, end value. So we need to run this program till n. So I've written n plus one. F equals to f into i return f. So and uh, and after that in main function main program what I've written num equals to int input enter the number. The user will be entering the number. We'll be passing that number to the function by calling it like this. So here we have called a function fact and pass the value num. This value goes to variable n and it finds the factorial. This function finds the factorial of the number and it returns back the number uh, factorial and it gets stored in the variable factorial. After that, what we have done, we are uh, writing a print statement in which we, are, we write factorial of whatever number you have had a user have entered is the answer. Let's run this program. Let's see, I have entered four and the factorial of four is 24. I hope this program is clear to you. I'll be giving you more programs as the work under the worksheet so that you can practice more and more programs. And what you can do, like whatever programs we have done in our class 11th related to loops, we can make uh, those programs using functions as well for your practice. Let's take one more example. Next thing, uh, next comes default argument. What is a default argument? Default argument means argument and parameters are same. So we can write parameters or we can write uh, arguments, both are same. Default argument means, or default parameter means that whenever user is not passing any value for a particular variable, in that case, the default value is picked. So I've created one function called def func n equals to five comma m equals to two. So what it means that whenever I'm calling the function func and I'm not uh, passing any value of any of the, either of the variables, then it will take the default value. Like if we take, uh, if we see, in main I have taken two variables, a comma b equals to 10 comma 20, which means a equals to 10, b equals to 20. In this case, if I, if you, if you can see, uh, you can see that func a. I have only passed one variable, that is a. So what it means? That is only value of a variable is passed. What will happen? The value of a will get stored in n variable. So in this particular case the default value will not be used value of n will be 10 but i have not passed the second parameter so m will be equals to 2 in this case python will pick the default value so you have the answer let's run this program first as you can see the value of n is 10 and value of m is 2 what it has done as i said it has picked the default value of m because we have not passed two parameters one important thing whenever we are declaring default parameters it should be the default parameter should be on the rightmost side which means that i cannot write like this i cannot write n equals to 5 comma m if i have to write any default parameter in that particular case i have to declare that variable on the right hand side 
So if I need to uh, declare n equals to 5 as the default parameter, then I need to use it like this. Where whichever variable you are taking as the default variable or default parameter, that should go on the right hand side of the function declaration. Okay, let's undo this. So I think this is clear. Let's move to the next uh, function call, calling statement. In this, I'm passing two variables. So here, value of A and B will be passed to the variables n and n and m respectively. <coughs> so in this case, none of the variables default value will be taken. So as you can see, n equals to 10 and m equals to 20 is the answer. In the last one, what we have done, what I have done, I have not passed any value. I have not passed any parameter. So in this case, both values of the default, both values, the default values of n and m will be taken. As you can see in the answer, num equals to uh, n equals to n is 5 and m is 2. Next topic is local variables. Local variable means a variable which is defined under a particular indentation is local to that particular block. Like if you can, if you see here, we have declared two variables x. One is inside the function my func, and another one is in the main. So you can see that uh, whenever when I have written x equals to twenty in the main and I'm calling the function my func. And as soon as we go to that function, under that we have taken one local variable called x equals to 10. So the variable x here has the function, has the scope only under this particular function. I cannot access local variable outside that particular block. If you have declared that variable inside a function that is accessible only and only inside that particular function. If I have declared a variable in main, then that variable has scope under the main part only. So x equals to 20 is local to main. Local to main means that this variable holds value 20 only and only inside the function main. If I am going to a particular function, there whatever variable I have declared, it will be accessible. Like if we take this example, let's run this first. You can see when I'm calling a function my func and value inside function is printed and the value is 10. But what it means that we are using the local value inside that particular function and value is outside function is 20 because that particular print statement is under main function so it is picking the local variable value x local variable x whose value is 20. there is one more thing called local variable global variable Global variable means, or a global scope means that a variable which is declared outside function and main, and which is accessible throughout the program. Throughout the program means it is accessible in function, it is accessible in main, so it is throughout the, it, it remains in the memory throughout the program. So this come to this uh, so now we come to the end of the function uh, chapter function. I'll be sharing you the notes regarding this chapter, and uh, I expect you to do the particular questions which are there inside that uh, 
inside that no uh, inside the notes so you can practice them and more, moreover you can practice the uh, questions from your uh, textbook which is sumita uh, bias plus computer science by sumita aroda we'll be using that particular book i want you to revise the ch chapter 1 which is uh, revision 2 which comprises of all the python which we have done in our class 11th that will help you for uh, further uh, chapters which we'll be doing and which i'll be sharing which i'll be recording and sharing with you in coming days thank you